If you are interested in starting a YouTube channel and sharing your passion through that medium, then you have to make sure that your channel stands out. So today we're going to be designing a banner for our YouTube channel. And this is really important because you can use the banner area of your channel to tell what your channel is about. And you can also tell how serious someone is about their YouTube channel or how much work they've put into their YouTube channel by just looking at their banner. So you want to make sure that when someone sees your banner, it gets to the point immediately. So let's start designing. So we're in Photoshop and as you know, we're going to create our new template. We're going to hit create new or we can come up here and hit file and then new. And the size for our YouTube banner is 2560 pixels wide by 1440 pixels high. And you know, we keep our resolution at 300 at all times. And we're gonna hit create. So here's our template and now we're gonna start working. I'm just going to zoom this in a bit by pressing alt on my keyboard and rolling my mouse wheel forward. Now, when you look on a YouTube channel, the area of the banner that's visible is not this entire area. It's not the entire template. It's only this middle portion here with a very small height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shape and put it in this template and use it as a guide so that my design doesn't go too far outside that area. So my first shape is going to be the same width as my template and a height of 423 pixels. So I'm going to press U on my keyboard and that will select my shape tool. You can see it right here. If I hit U and it wasn't the rectangle that was automatically selected, I can hit shift while I'm holding shift, pressing the letter U and you can see that the shape is changing. See, we have a square, not square, sorry, a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, a circle or ellipse, etc., polygon line. So I'm going to draw a shape all the way across here. I can adjust the size up top in the tool options. Let me change the color so it's more visible to you guys. Blue. And up here you can see width and height. I'm choosing, I'm going to choose some custom measurements. I want 2560. And I'm changing the height as well because I want 423 pixels high, as I said earlier. And I'm going to just hit this aspect ratio lock button so that my size is always 2560 by 423. And I'm just going to highlight my rectangle layer over here, as well as my background layer. And then I'm just going to align the horizontal centers. And what I did just now was I switched from the shape tool to the move tool by pressing V on my keyboard. That's the shape tool. And then V gives me the move tool. And while the layers are both highlighted, I just aligned the horizontal and vertical centers. Now I'm going to select just my shape layer and I want to change this blue area to just a blue outline. So I'm going to press U on my keyboard again to get the shape tool and tool options. And where you see it says stroke up top, I'm going to click on this white box with the red strike through and select the same blue color and then change the size to about two pixels and then I'm going to go over here to fill. Fill is the color that's in here, obviously. And I'm going to make it blank so that there is no fill. And now when I click on my shape or select my move tool, you can see that this outlined area is my work area. Before I go any further, let's save our project. So I'm going to go file, save, I'm looking for my desktop. I'm going into my folder that I already made and I'm going to name this LSPV016YouTube Banner. Another important thing to note about YouTube banners is that they show differently on each device, meaning that it shows differently on your phone than it shows on a tablet and it shows differently on a tablet than it shows on a TV. So this first blue outline that we have here is the safe area for a TV. Now for our mobile devices, our safe area is 1540 by 423. So it's the same height, but it's a little bit smaller in width. So let's go ahead and make that right now. We're just repeating the process. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the rectangle that I already have by hitting Control on my keyboard and the letter J. 
and you can see over here we got a rectangle one copy and what i'm going to do is just rename this by double clicking and then naming this rectangle mobile let's name the no let me change the name to mobile device guide and then desktop guide and i'm going to select mobile device and i'm going to change the color so that we know what we're looking at changing it to red and then i'm going to uncheck the aspect ratio lock so i can change the width remember if i change the width while it was still locked it would have also changed the height so i'm going to select 15 40 and there you can see it got shorter and then i'm going to lock the aspect ratio again and then i'm just going to select the mobile device guide as well as the background layer i'm going to hit v on my keyboard for the move tool and just align the horizontal centers and there we have our makeshift guides what i'm going to do next is now that we have our guides i'm going to use the guides that we have in our rulers you know we went over those in the last video i'm just going to hold the shift on my keyboard and click on my ruler and drag out to where they meet the guidelines see i stopped right here where the red was I'm just going to drag another one over this side same for the top and bottom while I'm holding shift, I'm clicking and dragging on my ruler. That way I know I shouldn't exceed these areas. And now I can turn off the mobile device guide on the desktop guide layer. So now we know two ways how to make guides when we're designing. I'm just going to drag another guide across vertically. That way I know where I'm at in the center of my document. So my document is 2560 wide. So the center should be 1280. I think my math is correct. I think. <laughs> so now I'm going to start adding elements. And the first thing I want to bring in is an image that I have. I already took this image and I know I wanted it in the banner. So I'm just going to go to my folder where the image is. This image right here and just drag it and drop it in onto my template. And obviously the image is too big on the template because remember we have our guidelines. So what I'm going to do is just size this image down by just clicking on any corner of the image and dragging it down to a reasonable size where I think it will be visible within the guides. Maybe a little bit smaller. And I want it about here. Maybe a little bit smaller. Uh, a little bit more. All right, let me just move it down some. And I think that should be good right there. All right. And then what I want to do is I want to type the word photo, video, and graphic design because that's what we do here at Learn Share Photo. And I want the word tutorials underneath it. So photo, video, graphic design up top, and then the word tutorials. All right, so let's get going. Photo. Oh wait, the color is white. That's why we're not seeing anything. Um, let's change the color to maybe 90% gray. All right. Photo, video, dot, graphic design. And this is obviously too big. Let me size it down a bit up top. Tool options, maybe nine or eight that should be good and you can see it's too widespread so i'm going to go over here to the extreme right to the properties tab and i'm going to change the tracking to about 100. all right that looks better and i think i may change this font let me change this font to bbus bold because i think the one that i have i think the banner that i have right now is in bbus all right, that's good. I'm going to write the tutorials. And I want the tutorials to be bigger. So I'm going to highlight everything and come up top to tool options and change the size to about 30. Mm, maybe not so much. 24, maybe. Mm, maybe what I could do is make it 30 
six or 30. Let's do, yeah, 30 is fine. And then I'm going to change the tracking on the tutorials to about 200 and that should be good. I'm going to select the tutorials and the photo video graphic design and I'm just going to hit V on my keyboard and align the horizontal centers. And we're good. And I'm going to move them to about here. And the next thing I want to have here is my logo. So I'm going back into my folder with my source files and I'm just going to drag in the Learn Share color logo. And that is way too big. So let's go ahead and make it about seven. Well, that's still too big. Let's go three. Still too big, maybe 1.5. 1.5 should be good. And I just change the size by going up to the tool options when I drag and drop this image in here. And this is already aligned with the tutorials and the photo video graphic design. So I'm just going to place it there, maybe move it up a little bit more, not so close to the edge. And what I'm going to do next is select the learn share the tutorials and the graphic designing and then come up top to my move tool options and then distribute vertically that way the distance in between is equal all right and now with all of these selected i'm going to group them i can do it two ways i can hit ctrl and the letter g on my keyboard or i can come over here to the layers and right click and click group from layers and then name the group let's just name it info and then click OK or press enter and there we have it and wherever we move info you can see that everything is being moved around and i'm just going to hit ctrl and z to undo and what i'll probably do is bring bring over the info a little bit more i think that's good what i think i want to do is i want to change the color of the text let me just zoom in a bit so you guys can see i'm holding alt on my keyboard and rolling my mouse wheel up or if your mouse doesn't have a wheel you can hit the letter z or z on your keyboard and just draw a box to the area that you want zoomed in and then you can move it with these sliders here that was horizontal this is vertical and what i want to do is i want to change i'm just clicking on the tutorials and then coming up top to my text options clicking this right here this color box and then i'm picking the blue that's in the learn share logo all right that's good then press ok and for the photo video and graphic design i think i want to make that the orange so let's click that layer over here come up top to the tool options for the text click on the color box and just pick the orange from the learn share logo okay and we're good and i'm going to hit z on my keyboard and then hit fit screen this looks good this looks good we're getting there i'm not going to do a whole lot i'm not going to overdo it the only thing i'll do next is just brush around the edge of the images that way it's not obvious that you can see that the image ends here and you can see this harsh line here right on the u i'm just going to erase it a little bit so it's not that harsh around the edges so let me zoom in once more Remember Z on my keyboard and then just drag the area that you want magnified. And I'm going to click my image layer. And here's where it gets interesting. Now below your layers, you see some little options here. And the one we're looking for is mask. We're adding a layer mask to our image. And you can see right here that it came up beside the image. Let me do that again. Control and Z, undo. And pay attention to the image layer right here. You see, we got a blank mask right here. So what a mask is, it operates like a real mask. So when you put on a mask, it protects your face, right? So whatever is happening on the outside of your mask doesn't affect your face under the mask. And that's how a mask works in Photoshop, similarly to a physical mask. So we're gonna click our mask layer. It's already selected. Let me show you. Our image layer is selected. You see the little box came up around it. And now our mask layer is selected. All right, and you can see you have some mask options over the right hand side, but we're not going to mess with those. And I'm going to select my eraser tool by pressing E on my keyboard. Let me just zoom out a bit. Alt and roll my mouse wheel back. And I'm just going to right click and ensure that my eraser tool is really soft, meaning that when I click on my image, it doesn't take a chunk out of it. 
So normally the hardness would be at 100% and I have mine down to 3%. So we can go back there, all right? So now that I softened my eraser tool, I'm just going to brush around the edges of my images. Remember, we're working on the mask of the image, not the actual image. Let me just zoom out a little bit more. And let me just size down my eraser tool by using the square brackets on my keyboard. Or I can right click and just reduce the size. I think that's good. And then escape to get that off the screen. Wait, did that change just now? Let's do it again. Maybe I need to press enter. Maybe 200 and then press enter. Okay, good. And we're just going to brush the edges of the image. See, we're just brushing the edges of the image. Maybe I should have kept 300. I'm just brushing the edges. And you can see as I brush it, the lines on the edges are disappearing. See, I'm just brushing the edges of my image. That way it's not that visibly harsh and you can't really tell where the image starts or stops. All right, I think that's good. That's good. Let's zoom out. Z on our keyboard fit screen. Let me just hide my guidelines. Control on my keyboard and the semicolon. And that's good. That is good. It's not as obvious as it was before. Let me just brush off a little bit more of the right hand side of the image good that's good all right Let's zoom back out maybe just maybe i would change the color of the photo video and graphic design let me click on that and just hit t for the text tool let me just see how it looks as blue the same blue as the tutorials Mm, let's see how it looks as the gray of my shirt or the black of my shirt. Maybe let's zoom in and see the difference. Let's do it for the tutorials as well. Just picking on the shirt. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Mm, I think I like this because when the photo videographic design was orange, it was kind of taking away from the orange of the logo and I didn't want that. So I think this is where I'll keep it. I like this, I really like this. It has that white clean look and I think it will really stand out when it's on the page. Now let's bring the guys back up on the screen, control and semicolon. And this area over here on your desktop is where your social icons will be. You know, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook or your website link. So we have the important stuff in the center where it will be visible on all devices. I think I'll probably move it a little bit more over to the right. Let's just select info. I'm just going to close the group. Info is already selected. I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and select the image as well. And just hold shift on my keyboard and just tug them over to the right with the right arrow key. Just a little bit about there. That should be good. Let's save our file. Let's save our file. Control and S. Shortcut, all right, that looks good. I really like this, it's really clean. Now I'm going to save this as a JPEG or PNG, that way I can put it up on YouTube. So I'm gonna go file, save as, and we're in the same folder that we were before and we're just changing the save as type to JPEG and we're clicking save and we're maxing it out. It's already maxed out, so we're just clicking okay. I'm going to show you how you would upload your image, but first let's look at what we designed. So I'm going into my folder and then I'm double clicking on my image and I'm viewing it as a slideshow. Pausing and yes, yes, yes. This is what we made. It is so clean. And if you look at the image of me, you can't really tell where we brushed off the edges. I mean, obviously for the bottom and the top, but if you look at the sides, you can't really tell where the image stops and where the white background starts. This is really nice. I'm loving it and I am ready to upload it. Let me just come out of this and close. And we're going into our browser. Hover over my current banner. You can either do customize channel or just click on this camera icon and you would just drag and drop your image right here in this window. 
and see it says that recommended channel art size 2560 by 1440 and that's what we did earlier and then you would just drop your image here and you're all good to go all right and remember i was mentioning earlier about the social links here i have mine the instagram the twitter and the facebook so what do you guys think i am really excited about my channel banner so fresh so clean 2020 new look ready to go if you guys design your own channel art while i was designing mine i'd love to see it email it to me my email address is listed below thank you so much for watching and designing with me remember if you're planning on taking youtube seriously then people need to look at your channel and know that hey this person is serious about youtube right once again my name is cjam and i will see you guys in the next video